Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, we are going to learn how to find web elements in Selenium using Python. Let's start by clicking on the Python packages button and ensure that the Selenium package is installed. Next, make sure you download the Chrome driver file for your operating system and place it in a local folder. I have it saved under the resources folder. Now let's look at the code. I'm starting by importing WebDriver and Buy from the Selenium package, and I'm also importing the OS and Time packages. On line six, I'm calculating the root directory, and on line seven, I'm creating a Chrome driver and passing the executable path for the Chrome driver file. On line 10, I'm specifying the implicit wait, which is the time in seconds the driver should wait when searching for an element if it's not immediately found. Next, I'm using the get method to go to amazon.com. On line 14, I'm finding search text box element by ID and typing sunglasses in it. Next, I'm clicking on the search submit button. Starting line 18, I'm checking to see if the keyword Ray-Ban exists in the page source, then print test successful, else print test failed. Finally, on line 25, I'm calling the quit method to close the browser. Let's execute this program to see how the run looks like. Note, I'm using time.sleep just for demo purposes to slow down the execution. Looks like our test passed because the Ray-Ban keyword was found in the page source. Let's see what happens if I change the keyword to Razban and rerun the test. This time, our test failed because Razban was not found in the page source. Now let's look at how to find IDs for specific web elements on a web page. Start by clicking on the three dots in the top right corner on the Chrome browser. Then select Developer Tools from the More Tools dropdown. Now click on the Inspect button and hover over the element you would like to get the ID for. Once you are certain it's the correct element, click on it to get the corresponding HTML code. Now grab the ID from the HTML code. For example, here, the ID is two tab search text box, which we just used in our test. Similarly, you can get the ID for the search submit button as well. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.